welcome to SFR Devlog 3. In this devlog, we'll be looking at problem solving through game design. In my experience, game design is 30% putting your ideas into a game and 70% fixing problems with those ideas. Essentially, this video will be a look into my game making process. Now, if you've played Searching for Rest yourself, link in the description, you'll know that it's mostly just clicking graves and seeing what happens. That's kind of a problem for me, so I want to give the player some agency. Already, finding lanterns is really nice because then you get multiple choices of what to click on. You may have seen in my past videos graves being revealed without the use of lanterns. I've added some upgrades that allow the player to reveal certain graves by performing certain tasks in their run. This is nice, but I wanted to take it a step further. Introducing Reveal Choices. Somewhat rare upgrades will give the player what I'm calling a reveal choice. They can choose what graves to reveal, giving them the ultimate freedom of choice. Another really annoying problem players faced was finding bats and ghosts early. I thought of many ways to fix this. I could lower the amount of monsters in the early graves, but then players would just find mountains of dirt at the start of every game. I could make the upgrade spawn only when you've killed a certain amount of monsters, but then it would decentivize reveal based builds, and that's no good. Finally, I added starter upgrades that you can pick up at the start of each game. These upgrades trigger when you kill a certain amount of monsters, so if you get unlucky in the early game, it isn't as painful. Plus, this gives the player a guaranteed choice that can influence each of their runs. I used this technique to fix another problem that rose up. Adding swords to your graveyard is good early, but finding them once you reach 5 power is useless. So I added the Cemetery of Power. The first time you reach 5 power in a run, you'll be presented with the same 3 upgrades. These upgrades add a huge amount of player choice. Not only do you know when they're coming, but you also know what they'll be, and they can be used in every graveyard. Not only are these upgrades fun to use, but they cost power, so players have to be cautious when using them. This is a recipe for critical thinking, a gamer's best friend. Gameplay problems weren't the only ones I dealt with this week. Previously, I made the game look better. I forgot, however, to add animations. So, as you've seen this whole video, there's a new spawn animation for the graveyards, as well as hover and floating animations for the upgrades, and using particle physics, I made the fog and leaves blow away when you get an upgrade. That brings this video to an end. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, consider subscribing.